Hello friends, in my this video, I am going to discuss how to reverse an array in MATLAB, okay? So, see how to reverse, suppose, uh, let me take one array, one, two, three, okay, of three elements. Now, suppose these uh, inputs are stored in A matrix or A vector or A array or whatever you say. Now, suppose I want a B array, which will, uh, whose element will be like this, three, three, two, then one then what is happening you just try to understand b of one because in matlab the array index starts from one is equal to a of three then b of two equal to a of two this is middle element it will not change symmetrically right b of three equal to a of one so see what is happening here here just we are reversing that means like this so to make a code like this, what we can do, just simple, b of, suppose one variable, uh, like normally in notation form I am writing this, b of i equal to a of n minus 1. Okay, suppose b of 1, let me write. So what is the meaning of b of 1 equal to a of n minus 1? A of n because in sorry in uh, Java it becomes a of n minus one but in MATLAB it is a of n. See the first element of B is the last element of uh, a matrix and consecutively what will happen? This index position C is increasing and this index position of A C it is decreasing. Okay and it will go up to one. So this is the basic algorithm to reverse an array in MATLAB okay so see how I am writing based on this concept x equal to input then enter the array okay basically we can say matrix also now for i equal to length of x minus 1 sorry length of x colon minus 1 colon 1 why because once again yes so what is happening the length of x it will start from length of x it will decrease and it will by one value and it will go up to one so b let me give some other variable y equal to x of i so what will happen initially this small y variable value will be nothing but x of length of x that is the last element of the input so we can to store it in one array we can define y equal to one empty matrix then here y equal to uh, we can write y then small y as you know how to insert elements in array right from my previous video so see what will happen suppose uh, in the first iteration i equal to length of x so suppose uh, uh, there are two elements in the x suppose let me take here one and two okay so what will happen length of x is two so i will uh, uh, have the value from two colon minus one colon one that means two and one is going to be value of i then small y will be equal to x of i initially x, i value is two so x of two so small y value is x of two x of two is what 2 right so cap in capital y variable 2 will be stored then i will be decremented by minus 1 so now i becomes 1 so small y value is become x of 1 x of 1 is 1 so now in capital y variable 1 is going to be stored simple right and in this way from 1 to we will get to 1 that is reversing of array now let us check control a evaluate selection enter the array suppose let me give the array input 1 8, 6, 9, 4, 7, 6, 1. Okay, I have given randomly. Now let me just make comment window a bit bigger. Now just click enter and our reverse array is stored in capital Y variable. Let us check, write capital Y and click enter. See, if you reverse the array, what we will get? 1, 6, 7, 4, 9, 6, 8, 1. That's what you have got in the capital Y variable. 1, 6, 7, 4, 9, 6, 8, 
one clear so this is the simple code to reverse one array and this is very important concept in solving uh, or in making programs related to your domain like electronics whether you are considering electronics and communication engineering or csc in many cases in programming you may require to reverse one array okay so in that case you can use this concept okay better to avoid inbuilt function uh, rather you just write the whole code because if you write the code then uh, you will understand the algorithm and you will never forget that but if you write uh, using inbuilt function then if you forget the inbuilt inbuilt function you cannot write the code right that is the issue so then always try to write uh, as much as possible in the normal method instead of using inbuilt function in MATLAB okay already MATLAB is a huge helpful software and there are huge library functions are there so you can use those but try to avoid then your programming skill will be developed in MATLAB okay so this is all for my this video I will post the same code in the description of my this video if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section thank you for watching